There we go. Oh, again, the mouse. I need to be better about that. Let's see, which way do we need to head? So we just beat the Cabra. Let me head all the way to the right and see if I get anything from beating this guy. <laughs> get a message. Playing, play, uh, playing back new messages. Subject number two. It seems as though you are more compatible with the secret program than we thought you had to be. Program is stable as well. Please continue on with your mission. So, we know subject number one is Black Frost of some kind, meaning that we are being attacked by a human. Currently in underground investigation mode, or observation mode. Also, if you look up, you can see the top right, you can see a little piece. I'll get that in a second. Please change the atmosphere observation mode immediately. There's something written on the screen. Pyrocoon, do you know what this says? Don't be stupid, ho. Of course I don't, ho. <laughs> Underground station mode error. Please input code manually. Hey, it goes J. Jackson. Oh, it's J. Coon, ho. <laughs> Why does he have jiggle physics? Does something happen? There's some words around the screen, but they're too hard for me to understand, so I don't know what to do. Where's on the screen? Let me see. Atmosphere report, system reboot. Uh huh, uh huh. You understand what it says, ho? If I do this and I do that, there we go. System reboot complete. Activating atmosphere observation mode. And that removes the drill that's directly under us, so now we can go get that in a second. Incredible, you use the machine, ho. Are you familiar with machinery, ho? Yeah, though I can't really remember why. I just feel like I could get it to work for some reason. I've never heard of anything that's good with machines before, ho. Oh. So I can fly up here. And snag this. Not really sure what that clear block does. I possibly will find out later. But anyway, now right, the brother list is now open. So I can go all the way back to the left. Through here. Save real quick to just save some time for the next time. Oh. And change it back to purple world because I forgot that I need that wall out the way. Wait, what? Did I do something wrong? Did I? Okay, I'm just bad, clearly. And blinds? Whatever. Alright, so let's go down one level. Ooh, careful now. There we go. And then all the way to the right here. Once again, these enemies are immune to all damage. We're not immune to it, I just can't damage it as fast as I can heal, you know? Here's Bifferons. Hee ho, you're. That's Bifferons from Rapport, ho. You, you guys again. How dare you beat me up like that? What's that, ho? You wanna fight us again, ho? Erk. You're a bunch of jerks. There's way too many of you. You attacked us first, ho. Uh. Both of your sisters are trying to defeat Black Frost? That's right, ho. You know anything about Black Frost, ho? No, why would I? All I know about him is that there are some rumors. He's that Black Frost is totally out of his mind. Everybody's been talking about him lately, and he's just showing us anything he lays his eyes on. There's nothing out here, nothing out there that can stop him. Out of his mind, huh? It's not something we don't already know. There's definitely something wrong with that Black Frost, ho. He doesn't seem capable of reasoning at all, ho. I'm telling you, for your own good, don't get involved with him any further. There's no way you'd be able to take him. We won't know unless we try, ho. So you're gonna ignore my warning? Fine by then. Uh, fine by me then. See you later. Bye, Bifferons. And here's Area 3, which is more machinery based than the other two areas, as you can see. And as such, there will be a lot more electric attacks. Oop. And I forgot about this freaking poltergeist thing. Ow. I gotta be careful, I'm almost already dead. So, a little lore on these guys. These Shisha guys are supposed to be like 
protect your demons more so, and they're supposed to be signs of good luck. And instead. Oh, that's nice. Give me a save for some Raptor, it nearly kills me. Oh, Mothman. Elevator, I can't use that yet. Let's... Good Adventures go less. That didn't hit me, but alright. I'm not sure about the lore of these pig things, though. So... Let's take a slight pause to talk about these guys. These guys are living pieces of shit. They are protectors of toilets. That is their lore. I'm not kidding, by the way. Why not jump into that? Be careful. Might see my first death here, everyone. Whoop! I'm out. Alright, no more risks. So, every single time there's one of these things, there's always a pulsar guys to drop down. I got to mention that for the last time. Nice try. Sorry for being a little bit quiet. I gotta kind of focus here, as you can clearly see, because my life's kind of low. Alright. Oh, in last video, I made a mistake saying that this yellow skill is Mazayo. When it, uh, Mizan, when it's actually Mazayo. So that's ele yellow is electric. And green is wind. And that's Mizan. And Mizan just summons a tornado that follows you slightly. So now I have an ice I have an ice skill, an electric skill, and a wind skill. Which means all I am missing is fire. So, can't get through here quite yet, because I don't have a means to, you know, slide or duck down and move. I'm using this so much right now. 
All right, so luckily, oh, so those save machines work the exact same way as the, uh, the dwarf that we met earlier. Also, if you can pay attention, you can notice a little Atlas sign, which makes no sense because, you know, Atlas is the company that made this game, but whatever. And you use it the exact same way you use your other skills. You flip to it on the screen, then you just press the use button. I'm gonna buy one more just to be safe. And I'll hold on using that one. So we gotta flip over there. Use it. And now the blue elevators turn on. Before we use that though, let's try to go up as high as we possibly can on our own. See what's up here. Oh, and once again, that's me being bad. Got another piece for the bottom right. Playback message from eight days ago. Subject number one, Black Frost has been deemed unfit for the Synchro program. The Synchronized program has been destabilized. The program will now be shut down and your link to the Black Frost will be severed. Otherwise, you may suffer a mental shutdown, shutting the program down immediately. Which means whoever refused with the first being, or the subject one, fails and their brain nearly got, you know, scrambled. So, after turning the switch, we can now use bill elevators to go up and down. Oop. And it's kind of finicky. If you even lightly press up on the stick or anything like that, you'll just go up. Let's see, where can I go from here? I can go to that room right there. Oh, and mm, also, now the elevators are on as well. Or escalator, I'm sorry. So after turning on the power, both the escalators and the elevators are on. How far away is the save point? Pretty far. I'm thinking just to be safe, I'm gonna use this muscle drink. Once again, Poltergeist chicks are gonna drop down. Notice how the elevator rooters out. Oh, yep, that activated the elevators too. Did not know that would work. Neat. Secret wall here. And here's another Jack Frost. Hey ho, hey ho, who's this Frost? He's a friend of mine, ho. I can't sell his room, so. What are you doing around here, ho? My parents were cured by Brock Frost, ho. I'm looking for an ice vest so I can avenge my parents, ho. I was looking for it, ho. Black Frost? What a coincidence. Power Jack's looking for Black Frost too, ho. We're all like family, so leave it to us, ho. Thank you, Ho. But uh, I think I'll try something that I can do. Let's do our best, Ho. I can barely tell who's talking, Ho. <laughs> uh, anyway, so blue raised our magic. Red raises our maximum life. Alright. We can go all the way up here. And just head straight to the right. Gotta be careful here. I'm just gonna ignore these guys and get right on out of here. So I'm supposed to go right to go up to get out of here. But for right now, I'm gonna head back to a save room real fast. Restock so I don't end up being, you know, dead. And now I can focus. And Alex have two extra life, so that's good. Alright. 
So now we head right. And we head up. Um, I think we should be fine without that. Ah, oh, I knew that was coming too. The escalator pushed me towards her. That's yeah, fine, I should be able to leave with this much HP. Uh, good adventurers go left. Never mind, good adventurers go right. <laughs> ah. Sweet, save room. Which means we can head back here. We're not a save room, a teleport room. We can teleport back to the first area. Snag this save point real quick. And then head on back. Save room right here, which likely means there is a boss up ahead. And I was right. My what cute guests. Where'd you come from? This this girl. My name is Alice. Won't you be my friends? Now for those who don't know, Alice is a demon that is rather popular in the Shin Megami Tensei series. I can't remember if it was one or two. Possibly one. She was the main a main antagonist in the first Shin Megami Tensei game, or either second, one of the two. And she's been a mainstay in the series ever since. Usually there's a high power demon who has a very powerful attack called, then will you play with me? I can't right now, we need to go somewhere. You careful with this girl, ho. Are you saying no to your friend? You're not gonna play with me. I guess I can play with you a little bit, ho. Really, that makes me happy. Well then, before we play, I wanted to ask you something. Um, will you die for me? Yeah. This girl's kind of evil. One more thing. For all the fans of Toho and like Bullet Hells, this boss is basically a Toho fight. And this boss, more so than any other, um, showcases the company that helped make this game, or basically made this game under Atlas. I believe their name is Konosuba or something like that. These guys are big Toho fans and have, or big Toho fans, they're the creators of Toho. And they make a lot of bullet hell like games. And this boss is probably the most strict and most accurate representation of that. I might die here. Blue, red, blue, red. I'm already really mad. It's time for you to die. No, thank you. Oh! 
And I'm dead. Alright, let's try that one more time. I forgot that she had that move. Alright then. Round two, you demonic little child. Now I thought I'd get enough of you guys of evil little chosen while working. Red, blue. Starting blue. Now, I, for the life of me, have forgotten how to properly dodge that. Alright, round three! First time I die is to a demonic little child, of course it is. Whoa. Oh, so let's just keep running. Got it. So I was just bad the first two times that it killed me. Start with blue. What? Oh, she's mixing it up. Blue, blue, and blue again. Alright, you demonic little bastard. Move, move, move! <laughs> Ow. Uh, gotta cut it a little close here. Alright, so it's red first, red, 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 blue, red, blue, red, red, blue. You can tell based on what she's going to do, based on the color of the cards. So if it's a black card, it'll be a blue attack, or blue, I can't really tell what color it is. If it's a red card, it'll be red. Simple enough, right? Really? That's how I die? <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I should be able to get it this time.
Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, and then blue, and then red. Oh, one final thing I probably forgot to mention throughout the videos as well. Depending on what, uh, if you absorb an attack, you actually get a little bit of MP back. Ow. Really? Wow, everyone's picking on me. You're trying to murder me, you demonic little bastard child. You're all so mean. I think it's the other way around, ho. Cross, she's the memory of a girl that used to be uh, loved by demons, ho. The memory of a girl? That's just her memories in physical form. I kind of feel bad for her now. And there you go. There's more of her lore. And I'm out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. First time I die in this Let's Play, and it's to a goddamn little child. Whatever. Anyway, that's it for me right now. For anyone out there watching, thank you. So long.